Oh, I'm in this little old Corona that I fixed up a while ago for someone. It came in two weeks ago on a tow truck with the problem it's got right now. I found it was the condenser. And uh, so I put a new one in and it came in on a tow truck yesterday and wouldn't run at all. And it was a condenser again. Can't buy quality parts. So I actually bought three of them just to get one that worked to start with. So what I'm going to do this time is put a new condenser in of a different brand and a new coil just for the fun of it in case the coil's spiking the condensers. As we see it's running beautiful at the moment with the aircon on and everything. It can rev, it'll drive nice, you'll think it's fine, nothing wrong with it. And all of a sudden it'll do something weird. Let's see if I can get it to do it on camera for me. There we go. It's just not wanting to run now. I'm just holding my foot in one spot on the gas pedal. There we go. Very unhappy. That condenser is stuffed. Yeah, there we go. Turn off the aircon now. It's bloody hot today. But, um, so, as we see, the condenser is not healthy. All of a sudden, it starts sparking at the points and not the spark plugs. So, I'm going to put a new condenser on and a new coil, and that should fix it, hopefully. Ah, oh, it's warm out here today. Yes, yeah, so I put a new coil on, because that's the original one from 1981, and another new condenser. I'm going to see how it all goes. Oh, I've got a new coil, a new condenser. Running pretty good. I just went to go for a test drive in this and I noticed the steering wheel sitting here for the car to go straight. It wasn't like that last time I had this two weeks ago. So either it's hit something hard, something's come loose, or the tow truck did something to it, pulling it onto it. And I just looked at the front wheels and they're not both pointing in the same direction. So I'll limp this thing back carefully and have a look. That's weird. When I drove this thing in, I set the steering wheel to straight ahead position. And you can see the driver's tyre is straight. So that's alright. Go to the passenger side. You can see that definitely ain't straight. It's just steered right out. You're going to have to have a look to see why that's happened. Alright, I think I see what's happened here. If I have strapped it down and pulled it onto the tow truck for via the tie rod link. So this tie rod is bent to the total shit. Even the point looks like it's bent. The inner tie rod and inside the shaft. So all this is going to need to be replaced. You can see it's clean around here. So fucking RECV. Oh, I took the wheel off to have a look at this damage properly and yeah, that's definitely done by pulling it onto a tow truck incorrectly. They put the strap around this tie rod connector. You can see the way the straps rubbed it clean there and gone over the top of the control arm and rubbed it clean there. And yeah, it's completely fucked the steering on this side. So I'd want at least a new inner and outer tie rod end and tie rod connector, or adjuster as they're called. And oh, I've got to check out the drag link itself, because a lot of weight would have gone onto that. The pitman arm, I'm going to make sure that's not flogged out now. 
So if enough weight went on it to bend that, <laughs> think of what it's done to things up there. And you've got to check out the driver's side too, because if it fucked up on one side, it probably fucked up on the other side. And it looks pretty straight from here. Not that you can see that very well because it's a bit blurry, but yeah, that's that's not very professional now, is it? That's just destroyed. Oh, this is on the driver's side, and the fucker's done the same thing over here. But the other side took all the weight, obviously. But you can see where the straps rubbed there. The straps gone, rubbed here and here. I don't know if the camera can see that, but there is a slight bow in that tie rod connector. So I'd want to replace that one too. That is just a fucking piss off. It really, really is. The drag link itself looks all right. But oh, I will see what we can do. But um. That's just fucked. Yeah, you can sort of see the bow on the camera. So, I'd want both of those replaced. Might not need tie rod ends on this side, because not that much load's gone into them, but, you know, probably best just to change everything and call it done. Because they're not supposed to have that sort of weight put on them. They're only supposed to turn the wheels and hold the wheels straight, instead of being pulled on like that. That's just bad. <laughs>